Ski Hazushi Kotemaki. Uh, this is a combination of two of Sensei's variations on traditional techniques. Um, the first is Sensei's variation of Okushu Kotemaki Tori on the Iwara and Ushiro Goshi um, variation from the traditional. This is how they go together. Facing somebody, they're going to be attacking me with an overhead strike. It could be an empty hand, it could be with a knife, maybe a bottle. Probably not a stick, I would need a block in a different way, but any kind of empty or small weapon in your hand coming in a downward motion. I'm going to meet that downward motion with a block coming up, not just putting my arm up, but attacking, curling my hand out to attack. I'm also not waiting for the arm to come down. As soon as that arm goes up, I'm going to block it. If they started striking and the hand is already in front of their face and coming down, it's too late for this technique. I want to parry and let the arm continue and go by me. This is for when they've raised their arm up to attack and before it started coming down or just as it's starting to come down. I'm going to step to the side that I'm blocking on. If you're striking in a downward motion on this side, I step deeply, checking that arm before it starts coming down. My other arm is going to wrap all the way underneath and grab, just like on Okushu Kotemaki Tori, on Sensei's basic variation. Then I'm going to basically set up Sensei's vari variation of Ushiro Goshi. My inside leg is going to make a semicircle. I can't step through your leg, so I'm going to circle around until my hip is touching the back of your hip, and then I'm going to use that as a leverage point and pull down on the arm to break the arm and throw. I have something to give you a, a visual image of this, but I'm just going to walk through that again on the other side. Stepping deeply with the outside leg, the arm that's blocking. I want to catch that arm before it starts coming down. I step in as it goes up. Hook all the way underneath the tricep, grabbing the forearm. My inside leg makes a semicircle around their leg. I connect my hip to the back of their hip throw from the arm. Put this, an example together with some stuff you'll find around the house. I'm going to use a chair. Put some pillows and blankets in it just to make it approximately the right height. Took a gi, wrapped it around a pillow. I put a foam roller in here for the shoulders and the stick from a plunger on each arm. Just used uh, a hair tie or a rubber band to tie the sleeve and hold the arms in. And then I'll have a seat in the chair. It's a little short, but it gives you the idea. When this arm starts coming down, I'm blocking that arm. My other arm comes all the way underneath, wraps and locks. I make that semicircle around to the back of the hip, connect, and throw. Different angle. That arm raises up and I'm blocking it before it starts coming down. My other arm comes all the way underneath and grabs from the back side. Inside leg circles around behind to make connection with my hip and I'm throwing from there. That blocking motion and wrapping and throwing motion is the same technique that Sensei uses on his basic variation of Kushu Kotemaki Tori. And the throwing motion is similar to uh, his variation of Ushiro Goshi. Stepping around behind, connecting my hip to their hip and throwing. Instead of having my arms wrapped around their body to throw, I have the arm locked and I'm pulling down and my hip is making connection in the back. One last time from another angle. That arm comes up. I block it early before it starts coming down. The other arm wraps all the way underneath, circle around, connect with my hip to the back, pull down and throw. One last time without a prop, block and step on the same side as the arm's coming down, 
wrap underneath and grab the forearm, semicircle around the leg, connect my hip to the back of their hip, pull down, and throw. Ski Hazushi Kotemaki.